What's up, everybody? So we are out on the old Juniata River. And uh, we're gonna do a little smallmouth fishing today. Preparing for the MAKBF tournament on uh, June 22nd. It's a re it's a makeup of the original date, which was April 6th, and we got you know significant floods in the region, so we're gonna be making that up on June 22nd. And I'm gonna get out here and see if I can't put a little pattern together and see what they're doing. Um, I think a majority of the spawning fish will be done, gone out of the river, but um, that doesn't mean that there's not ginormous Juniata resident smallmouth that live here all year long. All year long, so they'll be here, and it'll be a good event. So, but let's see if we can't get a couple on, you know, on the end of this hook here this morning. Talk to y'all in a bit. not awful I mean he's not uh, you know he's not 19 20 inches but he's a solid 17 inch fish good one See you later baby girl Good fish. Oh, that Bass Pro Chaos Shad might be worth it. Not as good as I thought it was, but still a quality fish. Still a quality fish. Might be 19 inches. I don't think so, but she might be. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful big fish. We're gonna get a measurement on her just to just to know. 18 and three quarters. Alright. Big old beautiful adult. See it, babe girl. So those are the kind that we want to find. Um, a bunch of those 18 to 19 inch fish are, you know, they'll do you real good on this river system in June so and it's nice to know they're eating top water and she wasn't just like mad at that thing she she wanted to destroy it so this Bass Pro Shop Chaos Shad has a real nice deep plop sound to it. Um, it's very similar to the sound of the Berkeley Chapo. But what I can say, and I don't know about its longevity yet, so please don't don't take this as me anointing this bait as the champion. 
Um, I prefer the deep plop sound and I love the fact that it doesn't turn um, when you're pulling it through the water like it doesn't have that that spin that twists up your line it's almost like it's tuned to kind of run a certain direction which makes it really nice because that's probably my biggest complaint about the whopper plopper itself I believe the whopper plopper is a better bait overall than the chopo but a very large complaint that I have about it is the fact that it spins so much and that's one area where the chopo is better than the the whopper plopper and I feel like it could be as easy as them waiting it just like a certain way but it seems like whoever made this bait for Bass Pro Shops figured out a way to do it they must have copied it from uh, the Chapo. Stays fairly balanced when you stop it too. This bait is also completely stock. Oh, oh God. We're gonna test the longevity of it real quick today. I just hit all kinds of stuff. smashed it up for rocks too I feel like if that was a chopo the tail would be cracked already um gosh I forget what I was gonna say top water bite like gives you like short-term memory loss um I've not changed out the stock hooks the stock hooks are what's on it right now um, Everything on it is stock, and I left it that way so I can get a good comparison of it to the other baits similar to it on the market. That one held on to it because I missed that bike completely. Like, <laughs> bro, why'd you do that? That was not smart, was it? That wasn't smart, was it? All right, chill. Oh, buddy, come on. Ugh. I hate triple hooks, but I, I love these kinds of baits. Just a little guy, but man, he held on to that thing a little too long. His eyes were a little big for his, compared to his stomach size, too, but that's typical around here. Okay. Okay. All right, bub. Just chill. Got you all. I'll crook it up with them hooks, man. All right, I'm gonna give the hooks some credit today. I don't know what kind of hooks they used, but typically when you get a slashing bite like that, a lot of times you miss that fish. Um, and those hooks dug in and held on. So I'm gonna give the old Chaos Shad a little bit of credit right now. Bass Pro Shops Chaos Shad. Uh oh, as I say that and it stops, did I get fouled up? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say, as I, as I start to give it some credit, it stops spinning. Um, but now it's back now, it was just, uh, it was just fouled up with some vegetation. Another one on the chaos shed. Chaos shed.
I, I can already feel these hooks are starting to get a little dull, but little guy, thanks buddy for playing. I do want to make note, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's next to, well there is no line twist, not next to no, there is no, no, none, zip, zero, however you want to say it. If there's anything sitting at the end of that boat ramp. A lot of times right where those boat ramps drop off and it goes from pavement to rock, there's like a little, you know, little lip there. And a lot of times they like to sit there. Especially when the water's dirty like it is. So, and that's just in general. When the water's dirty like it is right now, you know, they want to be close to some sort of structure. Um, some sort of anything that they can relate to because they can't see good. So they like to feel where they're at versus see where they're at. So they'll typically hold pretty tight to, to stuff whenever it's dirty. And that makes it easy to find them really Little one. Oh, did y'all see that? Please tell me you've seen that. Holy smokes, that was so cool. That fish came from over by the trees. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, chill, chill, chill. All right, buddy. That's enough. That's enough. You've, you've already done enough. About 17 inches, probably. Wow, that was a cool bite. So cool. Oh. oh my goodness oh snap that was a cool bite I actually seen the fish I don't know if it'll show up on camera I seen the fish it wasn't big but man that was a cool bite Oh, that is a fat fish. All right, dude, chill, please. Chill. I don't want to get trouble hooks in me. Ouch! Dang it. Just like I said. Ugh. Look at the body on that fish. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up and hold it sideways just so you can see how stupid that belly is. That's probably an 18. No, that's only a 17 inch fish. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, I'm hoping that one catches its breath. Uh, anyway, so I started out with the Chaos Shad 90 size, and I just bumped up to the one 120. I think is what the, what they call it. Um, bigger profile. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Maybe I'll get more bites, but that one certainly ate it. Uh, the treble hooks, the treble hooks on these baits certainly need to be replaced that is what i can tell you with certainty after using them so far today oh that's a big fish oh that's a good one fish not as long as I thought chill chill buddy chill chill please so, these freaking treble hooks actually a long fish <laughs> that fish might be 19 inches but it's not it's not what I thought it was based on how it ate I thought it was huge yeah she's 19 all right beautiful 19 inch fish right there we're gonna get her back in the water She go. Little guy. What are you thinking? That was a mistake. Just a wee little fella. I mean, compare that bait to him, it's like half the size of him. bite little fish and he tried to splash me
not a bad fish. I'm gonna guess and say probably another 18. Yep, 17 and three quarters, almost 18. I probably could have stretched it. Have fun, girl. Little guy. Oh, we're in some little little pocket right here. Oh, easy guy. They're all about the same size, I bet. Literally same size. That's a better fish. That's a good one. I guess that one's probably in that 19 range. We're gonna put her on the measuring board and see. Eighteen and three quarters. Real pretty, almost nineteen. She hit it hard too. They're loving that top water right now. Another good one. Uh. Another one, about seventeen, eighteen. Yep. 18 on the dot. Come on, baby girl. Have fun.
this fish is built like a freaking giant, but it's not. It's not a giant. Oh my god. Look at the freaking shoulders on this dude. Look at the way that fish is built. He's like maybe 17, maybe 18 inches. And just big, nasty, nasty back. Look at, look at that. I mean, that's just insane. You are going to be a big one. So, here's what we learned today about the Bass Pro Shops Chaos Shad. Um, it catches fish. Um, it is, you know, it's a, it's a bigger bait than most of your ploppers. Um, this is a 120 size, and it's got a bigger body than, um, than your, like, your, your Whopper ploppers or your Berkeley Choppos. It has a really, really deep chop, like plop sound. But as you can tell today, and this was, I mean, it's, a, it's my own fault. Um, I broke the tail off, or I broke the, the lip off the tail. Um, I casted it against the tree and it hit pretty hard. Um, it's, a, it's a harder plastic tail, so that harder plastic tail it it does tend to break easier that's one thing i noticed about the chopos one big complaint i had about the chopos uh you know it it just it'll break really easy and 100 percent these hooks need to be changed out you can tell i got a lot of rash on there this was i put these in action today and i got a ton of rash on here so and, and not the paint's not a huge deal but um you can tell that the paint and the material is you know not as good as some of the others because this is only one day's worth of rash but all in all it is a freaking fantastic alternative to what would be a 10 15 20 you know 20 dollar bait that you can get a lot cheaper with the Bass Pro Shops brand. I just, I would highly recommend changing out the hooks and doing your absolute best to not cast it against anything hard. Um, other than that, it's a fantastic bait and I would recommend people buy them. Um, I'm going to Bass Pro today to buy the rest of what they got. So, and some replacement hooks for them. I'm stressed out and I can't even fuck up straight lines in my grass. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, straight straight lines in the grass are way more important than protecting your business. Dude, don't <laughs> ever let Tracy mow your grass. Not that you would ever have a reason to. <laughs> she drives me fuck nuts. She'll, dude, she, fuck, she just starts in random areas. She'll go a block and then she'll go mow another block. I was like, look at you. Get a look. Oh, like, God. Mowing the grass. I'm like, what are you, like, she, one day she was a zero curve, so she started in the middle and just started going circles. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Oh, that's disgusting. Dude, I love straight lines, and, and like, I love my grass to look great, and, and most of the time, she does it because she knows how I like the grass to look, but sometimes she just likes me, and the other day, so we had... Uh, did you, I had did you think about divorcing her though whenever she did that when the, the, the circle thing because that's reasonable like if you would have filed for divorce that day I don't think anybody would have questioned <laughs> I, I don't think anybody would have questioned that